Hello and welcome back to The Note. Well, it's more of the same. The trends that we've seen for the last few days continued in force today. Steady if unspectacular gains for stock markets around the world, including here in the US where the S&P 500 inched a little bit closer to the all-time high it set last May, all buoyed by the oil price, which continues to be stable, and by earnings here in the US, which were bad, but not quite as bad as had been feared. Now, I'd now like to focus on one rather concerning anomaly. If we take a look at this chart, it shows you the S&P 500 indices for the two main ways in which companies uh, give cash back to their shareholders. The uh, Dividend Aristocrats Index, as, uh, as the name implies, is th those companies that pay the highest, most reliable and uh, rising dividend. And it should be no surprise that it gained very significantly in the early few weeks of this year when fear stalked the land. Generally speaking, when people are worried, they like the perceived security of a company that actually pays out cold cash. What's intriguing is that the show me the money uh, phase hasn't gone away. Even as the market has recovered, the popularity of dividend paying stocks has continued. That suggests that there is more fear and nervousness out there than might at first be apparent. Meanwhile, the other index for buybacks, uh, which shows the uh, companies which buy back the uh, highest proportion of their own stock, uh, a measure that, uh, at least in the short term, reliably boosts earnings per share, that has underperformed quite sharply, having led the market nicely for many years during the QE rally, and it continues to underperform. Now, that's strange because the buyback season is almost upon us. Companies are, have a blackout period in which they're not allowed to buy back their own stock ahead of earnings season. Once earnings season is over, you should be uh, then about to enjoy uh, a raft of buybacks. Uh, and it's not clear why this should be. One possible explanation, however, is that people don't expect the stock market to rally much further. If a company's stock isn't going to go up very much in the future, it's not a very attractive uh, use for shareholders' cash to buy more of that stock. They would perhaps rather have it as a dividend. So taking these two measures together, despite the obvious general calm in the atmosphere compared to a few weeks ago, there is still some pessimism, some nervousness out there. If you want a positive take on that, that means that there is still room to be positively surprised.